Hello, friends and enemies. I am actually really excited to film this video today. Oh my god, my hair. Um, because I've just spent like 30 minutes, approx approximately 30 minutes, <laughs> hard word, uh, making this tier ranking template. Template. That is the word. Now, I finally become uh, happy with how it turned out. So now I'm going to tier rank all the books I read in 2020. So I have my Mac here and I'm going to press record. Uh, okay, so. If I can do this correctly, you will now see what I see on the screen when I've edited this. I've never done this before, so this will be fun. But the categories I do have is goddess, which is like top, top, top books. There's not going to be a lot of them. If there is any at all, 2020 was a good reading year, but I'm not sure if i if i liked everything i read like if everything deserves anything deserves to be in like goddess Whoa. we'll see and then we have yes yes that's all that's that's the category and then after yes like i'm going from top to bottom now so goddess Yes, and then we have Obsessed at the Time. These are books that I la 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 loved when I read them. Oh, package. <laughs> uh, I loved them when I read them. And then now I'm kind of like, I still like them, but I'm not as obsessed anymore, you know? And then we have Basic, Meh, No, No, No no <laughs> you know and then at the bottom is what the fuck i felt like i just had to have that category because sometimes you have a book that you're just like what the hell happened when you finish it you know it's just like you know system overload so i had to have a category for that also no it's just no and then you can see at the bottom here i have all the books i've read and yeah i think we'll just start this intro is already four minutes long i have to edit this so much <sighs> anyways then we'll just start uh throne of glass is the first book and I must say, this is obsessed at the time because I reread it. So I've read it twice. Um, and yeah, I read it twice in 2020 and I was obsessed. I, I, I really, really liked that book. And it is also basic. It's not like yes tier. Like, yes, I would recommend it to any soul I walk past, you know? But it's, it's, not it doesn't fall back to basic like only basic i feel like it's a little bit better than only basic even though it is basic uh but i was obsessed at the time so obsessed at the time then we have a non-fiction uh essay cl collection of george orwell fascism and democracy um i don't know yes or obsessed at the time because I really like his point of view. And especially considering it's so long ago, like it was written under World War II. Or, and, um, and I really, really loved it. I was obsessed at the time and I'm still obsessed. I've already reread it in 2021. So I don't know, we'll see about that. If I have too many in yes, I will move it down to obsessed at the time or it, it'll just stay there. And then we have Queen of Shadows. It was long, a lot happened. I liked the tension between Rovan and Eileen, so 
obsessed at the time. A College of Magic. This is not a basic book. And um, I don't know if many people have heard of it or have no clue, but A College, a college of Magic. I liked it. But it was like, meh. I don't really care for it anymore. It just doesn't spark joy to me. And then we have Grimm, have no clue. It's a Harry Potter thing. You know, the play, not the Harry, Harry Potter, but the other thing, I don't know, Grim, Grindelwald. Yeah, the screenplay, I read that. And, uh, meh. Lara Dean keeps breaking up with me. This was basic. Cinder. I wouldn't say I was obsessed at the time, so I will just give it basic. Whew. Oh my god, I forgot the name. <laughs> I literally love this book and I forgot the name. Looking for Alaska. Looking for Alaska. Yes. It's not goddess and it has issues. And I can completely see it, but I'm somehow obsessed with it. And I have reread it too many times that I like to admit already. The Da Vinci Code, obsessed at the time. Moxie, yes. Lady Alexandra, goddess. Clockwork Princess. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many in obsessed at the time. Same with Clockwork Prince. Obsessed at the time. Harry Potter. We're not gonna talk about that. Basic. <laughs> a Clockwork Angel. Obsessed at the time. Blood of Elves. Meh. Heartstopper. Yes. Same with Heartstopper Tree. Yes. Midnight's Crown. I actually read this in Norwegian. That's why the Norwegian title is here. Uh, Obsessed. Well, was I obsessed with Midnight Crown? I don't think. I think I actually, Hair of Fire is the one I liked the most. I don't know if, oh, Hair of Fire isn't even here. I forgot to put it in my Goodreads. Well, oh well. <laughs> and then we have a manga series, which I don't know the name of. I just borrowed it from the library. And it was like, it was basic, it was good. Aristote and Dante discovers the secrets of the universe. Uh, basic. I have annotated the shit out of, the, out of that book though. Uh, and then it's uh, the crusade thing. I chronic crusade. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, since I don't know the name of it, I'm just gonna put it in there. Basic car supper. Wait, why did I put? Okay, I love Heartstopper though, but I don't think the next two is as good. I just, I'm just gonna move them to basic. Then we have, uh, everything I never told you. What the fuck? Turtles all the way down. No. Harry Potter and the Goblet Fire. Where did I put my Harry Potter books? There. Okay, basic. Uh, Milk and Honey. No. I realized that I don't give much context to everything I put where, but it, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. That is actually my favorite book out of Harry Potter books. And the, this one. And the Order of the Phoenix, sorry, I can't read. Uh, I don't know. I like like, the, my favorite book is Prisoner of Azkaban, and my favorite movie is um, Order of the Phoenix. But, I don't know, The Goblet of Fire is it's just basic. But I think I'll move Prisoner of Azkaban up to Obsessed at the time. And then we have the sor Sorcerer's... Sorcerer... Can't say that word. Stone. You know, the stone thing. And then we have Eleanor and Park. What the fuck? The Fault in Our Stars. No, that is one of the most overrated books ever. I feel like I liked it, but it, it didn't stand out er at all. Like it was the exact 
same as 10 other books I've read this year. And just know, like, it was a sad story. I cried a bit, yes. Do I care for it now? No, I'm probably gonna haul it soon. And then, things a bright girl can do. Now this is Goddess. I don't think I will ever reread this book because it was long and it took a lot of time, but I will probably like reread certain parts of it because I annotated it a bit and I really liked uh, like some characters more than others. So I'll probably just reread the characters that I loved and not only liked because I liked all the characters, but some of them were like, okay, you're rich, we get it. And then the other ones were like, oh, damn. And then I also, I know it's, it's lacking uh, POC rep representation, representation uh, in the um, suffragette movement, even though POC were the ones that started the suffragette movement, movement but I feel like I still like that book, but I can see the flaws with it, you know? Okay, now that I've talked about it, maybe it doesn't deserve goddess tier. Maybe it just deserves, yes, since it is problematic and I can see the problems with it. Huh. Okay, we'll think about that one. We'll come back to it. Then we have the Chamber of Secrets, still basic. Uh, Chronic Crusade, the same. I actually really liked that manga, but it wasn't anything particular. Um, it was just something I borrowed at my local library. We have this really small library that has very little books and now it's closed. And I'm really sad about it because I actually love my library, even though it has just this small collection of, of books. But I still like it. I still enjoy it. Wilder Girls. This is weird because this is what the fuck and yes at the same time. And like it's not a no, it's not a meh, like meh. Uh, but it is kind of a what the fuck, and it 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 is all also kind of a basic one and a, a, an obsessed at the time. I'm gonna stutter a lot right now, but. I think I'm gonna put it in what the fuck, but in a good way. If you know what I mean, because it is, it doesn't deserve to be with everything I never told you and Eleanor and Paul, but it is kind of a what the fuck, you know? But Eleanor and Park and everything I never told you is something I wish I didn't read, you know? You read something and you're like, why did I read this? Why did I start this? And yeah, I wish I could unread those books. But Wilder Girls, I don't wish I could unread it. It's just a very confusing book. So therefore, it is in the WTF category. Then I can tell we have Looking for Alaska twice. So I'll just ignore that. It's my fault. I reread it twice in one year. So that's why it, it came twice, I guess. And then we have another Chronic Crusade. I don't even know if that's the name of the manga. I'm sorry if it isn't. All the Bright Places. Okay, so I was obsessed at the time, but I don't like it anymore, so basic. Holding Up the Universe, no. Little Liar. I don't know if many people have heard of this book. I have never seen it on booktube, ever. But I really liked it. But I wouldn't say I was obsessed either. So I think I'll just put it in basic. Wow. Is that everything? That's legit everything. Holy shit. Okay. I guess we'll just go through it. So. In WTF tier, we have everything I never told you. Eleanor and Park. And then in its kind of own category within WTF is Wilder Girls, because it was what the fuck in a good way, but the other ones were in a bad way, okay? We have to get that clear. And then we have, no, turtles all the way down. 
No. The representation? Good. Great. Fantastic. Whatever. Didn't care for the story. Would never read it again. I don't particularly... I, I wouldn't say I want to unread those books because I, I don't care if I've read them. It's just, it's just no, I didn't like them at all. Milk and Honey, my first ever poetry, poetry collection. No. Fault in Our Stars, too overrated, too overhyped. Doesn't deserve the hype in my opinion, um, but yeah, no. Holding Up the Universe. No. <laughs> and then we have in the meh car category, we have College of Magics. It was just meh. Mm, didn't care for it. And then the screen. Okay, I am back. Had to delete some footage from my phone because it was full. Anyways, I think I'm on the meh category and I've come and I've just said uh, the. The screenplay, Crimes of Grindelwald. And then we have Blood of Elves. Didn't care for it. I'm not going to finish the series. I read only the first book. Not going to continue. Anyways, and then the um, chron Chronic Crusade manga thing. I read the third, the first three. And then I think it's a series consisting of seven books. I don't know. Don't take my word for it. Um will probably never finish it because I don't purchase manga myself since it's expensive and I read them too quick. Maybe I'll do someday when I'm rich, you know. <laughs> then we have the basic category. We have Laura Jean keeps breaking up with me. Good, I guess. Nothing out of the ordinary. Like the art style, like the lesbian representation. Very angsty. And that's it. Cinder liked it, but I don't know if I will continue the series. Many people say they only liked the first book and the, la the rest of the series they didn't really care for. Some people say they liked each book. Some people say they loved the entire series and etc. etc. I just, I liked the first one enough to continue if I ever want to. But right now I have a lot of things I read anyway, so I don't really need it right now. Then we have um, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. It was just basic, like, I really like Harry Potter, but I didn't read it as a kid, so it doesn't have nostalgia to me. Uh, I do, I am a Potterhead. I'm also a Hufflepuff and a Scorpio, which is a weird combination, I know. That's the only interesting thing about me, I guess. Then we have Crown of Midnight. Basic. <laughs> uh, because it was one of my least favorites. And then we have a random manga, which I liked. But I don't know the name of it. And I don't want to Google it either. Then we have Aristote and Dante discovers the secrets, secrets of the universe. I like this very much. I read it twice, but it doesn't really sit with me. Like, I'm really obsessed with it while I read it. Like, I can read it in two days, non-stop, you know? And that's really quick for me because I can only read a certain amount of pages each day. Even though if I have the whole day or if I just have an hour, I don't care. I can only read around 200 pages max. And I'm really jealous of people that can read an entire book in one day. Uh, but yeah. I'm really obsessed with it while I read it. I read it super quick and then I just forget about it afterwards. So, basic. Heart Supper Volume 2, Heart Supper Volume 3. Liked them, but not as much as the first one. Did like that they discovered like mental health and how to cope with it. And they're in a healthy relationship, which we like. We love it. But it was just passing time, really. And then we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, same with The Order of the Phoenix. Liked it, no nostalgia. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I say that wrong, I have no excuse, but we don't care. Same, no nostalgia, liked it. And the exact same reason for uh, the Chamber of Secrets, 
Then we have All the Bright Places, read an essay about it for school, got a really good grade, got an A+, plus, I believe. Um, uh, liked it for that reason, was really obsessed with it at the time, realized it is a really bad book, but still like it a bit. So, basic. And then we have Little Liar, was liked it a lot, was one of the longest books I read at the time. Uh, it's about 450 pages, which when I read it was the longest books I've ever read, but now read like page books with 800 pages, so it's not that anymore, but I was really proud of myself for reading it, and then, yeah, but it, it didn't fall short or anything, it's just, it's not something that I was obsessed with either. Then we have Obsessed With at the time, we basically just have series, we have Throne of Glass, Queen of Shadows, and then we have also, no, no, forget it, then we have The Da Vinci Code, Obsessed With, didn't understand a lot of it, felt smart because I was reading it, and that's a plus, you know? We like books that makes me feel smart. Then we have Clockwork Prince Princess, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Angel. I think I said that in the wrong order, don't care. Um, obsessed with at the time, liked it a lot, liked the setting, kind of steampunk, and I like that. Um, but it's the only series I will read by Cassandra Clare, I believe. But I, if she stops writing in the Shadowhunter universe, maybe I'll read some of her books. Uh, and then we have The Prisoner of Azkaban, favorite book in the series. And then we have the yes category. We have fascism and democracy, really liked his point of views. Felt smart reading it, which is a bonus. I also am still obsessed with this and think about it all the time still then we have looking for alaska think about it all the time has music connected to it sorry for speaking really fast i'll slow down moxie read it twice in one year really liked it still love it then we have heartstopper same love it love it then the goddess tier and i will admit I don't know if these deserve goddess tier, but they were the best books I read in 2020. So, do what you will with that information. So, first of all, we have my favorite book of 2020 by far, Lady Alexandra. No one has ever heard of this book, and I, I don't care about it. Read it if you will. It is a romance. It's a mass market paperback that I got for 50 cents at a thrift store. Do not regret that that purchase. I really like that book. I've already reread it like thrice and now I just I just know how the book goes. So I, if I want to read a certain part, I just go back, you know. And then we have Things a Bright Girl Can Do, which I really really liked. I felt smart reading it. It was one of the first long books I read in English. Do what you will with that information. And yeah, I guess that it. that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm really late to this trend. This was the trend, like the tier ranking trend was in summer 2020 and I'm doing it now in 2021, but we don't care. It's still fun. I still watch tier ranking videos, so. I hope you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe, I don't know, do what you want to, and I'll see you in the next video, bye.